because there's something there about Sarah's sculptures being a place rather than a object or object seen from the outside. Yeah. And then so yeah, like he's touted as the modern American sculptor who like changed that about sculpture, taking it from a thing that you look at as an as an aesthetic object to it being a thing that makes an experience or a place. And I yeah. I don't know, does that mean that spherical video is the architecture of, of video? <laughs> <laughs> well, he would argue that like his sculpture is something that is not nature and not architecture. And that's, what's, that's where sculpture lives, is, what is in the little triangle of not nature and not architecture. So, I mean, that spherical video is in the little triangle of like, not... It's not reality, or it's not, yeah. I don't know, there's something documentational about yeah. spherical video, but it is also... But it has placeness that other video does not have, even like documentary or nature footage does not have. It's a weird thing to try and like pin down and call things. Mm. That's an embodiment in, in relation to object, art, sculpture, video. Right, which is why I like that piece of his, that piece in particular so much, is like that physical experience of like the very narrow hallway, and the hallway gets like more and more and more narrow between those two bits of steel, and then like you come out into that circular area, and the, you're not, as long as you're not touching the piece, like you're, nothing's really happening to you, but suddenly this feeling of like a welling up of air and light inside of like this big steel hunk. Mm. feels very related to like the way, the way that you can articulate space with spherical video. Also that it's experienced in time. Um, much of art, you get first this wide view where you see everything in low detail and then you look closer uh, physically at, at different little parts as well as thinking about the little parts and picking out the details. Whereas um, with Sarah's sculptures, you don't necessarily know what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. You, you experience it in time, piece by piece, and then have to put the pieces together in, in through time. Yeah, and it even has like that level of detail thing where like it's very beautiful up close. Like the the surface of the steel is really pretty, is beautiful and has like the water um, marks on it from water running down it. And then you know the you know the experience of like if you walk up the stairs in MoMA you can then see it like laid out and sort of explained to you from above whereas you don't get that that isn't the thing doesn't feel to me at least it doesn't feel the same as like when you're looking down at it the map doesn't feel the same as like when you're walking through it that tightness mm. and the openness that you get when you're in it it's not explained thoroughly via the map And the experience, and also like the part where it leans over you, which is not common. Like the other, I mean, there are other pieces at moment that lean over you, like the a bunch of the Calder like um, mobiles mm -hmm. are over you, but it's just not the same. It's definitely like you're in its space rather than it being in your space. Yeah, everything is its space, and you're just walking around in it. Mm -hmm. first Sarah sculpture I saw was one in Spain, which was similar in form to that one in that it had these uh, wobbly spirals and forms um, in a very large museum. It was similar to that, but more. More things, more spirals, more more curly cues and stuff to walk through and around in. And that was definitely fun. Did you get more of it, the like lost it within it experience where you like lose your orientation? Yeah, and also I wasn't familiar with his work at that time. That was the first piece of his I'd ever seen. So I, like with this piece, I know the concept. I had kind of been there before. So I, I had that kind of higher level view. Whereas the first time walking through those spirals, it just felt like such an adventure and, and such an unexpected experience to come into those different leaning spaces and one leans one way. And, one leans the other, and just a different feeling of those things. Yeah, the leaniness is great. Especially, like, I mean, it's visually beautiful, but, and I know you're not supposed to touch it, but, like, if you walk along the inside and run your hand along the whole surface as you go, just the, the feeling in your fingertips about the thing, like, lurching away from you or, like, coming up against you is 
like so effective. I love that. The, mm-hmm. And especially because it has this very strange, like, rough and then smooth and then rough and then smooth texture. Even though it looks like it would all be one continuous physical texture, it actually has, like, a, it's very spotty. Like, the texture of the surface is very different. 